Y'all, it's your boy TNT Barbecue, guys. Today, I got a cook going for you. I know it's in, in the afternoon, but I want to bring something to the guys at the sheriff's office. All right, USDA Prime Brisket, guys. This is USDA Prime Brisket, guys. USDA Prime right here, man. Prime. Can I say Prime again? Prime Brisket, top of the line, guys. And I'm, I'm going to go ahead and hook this up, man. I got some seasoning I'm using. I'm using First, I'm using that, uh, that competition cow shake and then we mop it down with your boy TNT mop sauce and I'm gonna hit it with some of this calendar Greek season so that's what we're gonna do we got Barky but the, 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 the stars is kings for charcoal right here guys and the master built smoker so that's what we're gonna do so we're gonna bring you in and we're gonna show you how we work with this thing so first thing I need to do is we're gonna get the smoker going okay so it, it's pretty easy guys I'm telling you what we just open a chute right here I'm going to pull in a couple of, oh, and I'm going to put in some wood chunks, man, so it can cook throughout the smoke. Give me some good hickory stuff. And then I'm going to, uh, I'm going to go ahead and, uh, since I poured that in right there, I'm going to roll that up, baby. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the grill started. So uh yeah. Use to start this, I'm gonna use one of these these right here, one of these bricks to start the fire. I'm gonna go ahead and uh put it in the in the master build right there. I'm gonna go ahead and light this right here, man. I tell you what, guys, this stuff is amazing. Alright. So while it's coming up the temperature, we are going to trim the brisket. So if you if you want to get a good trim video. Go check out Mom and Papa Joe. I put the iCard up there, so you go check him out. And no, I'm not gonna wash this brisket. I'm just gonna trim it, guys. Yeah. And this is prime, so you won't do too much to this right here, man. Just take some fat off. That's it. Just, just, just take the fat off. Silver skin off. Oh dynamic. And I'm taking off all the silver skin. You know, trying to get it all looking the way I want it to look. I could be trimming all day. I go to the fat cap. I want to just get the fat cap shaved down. Not too much. I don't want it. I don't want to do what I just did. <laughs> so I want to kind of shape it up a little bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and round that off right there. I'm gonna round this off right here. Aerodynamic. You just want to make sure. But you got a good looking brisket. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this fat. First, I want to go in with the Cavender's Great Seasoning. That will be my base. I like the Cavender's. Tell you what, man, this stuff is amazing. It just adds uh, a lot of umami, and it's low. It's kind of low on sodium, and I want to go in with some of this Uncle Steve shake. Now that's the Bark Builder right here. All right, so like I say, going with the Cavaners. Spray it down with some of this Pam Nun cook spray. And I'm gonna try to get some more of this Uncle Steve shake to stick on the uh, on the presentation side of it. That's the fat side, cause I'm cooking fat side up today.
All right, guys, so. I'm gonna go ahead and pat it in with my knife. New method, guys, right here. Y'all seen it here. Y'all seen it here first. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, close down this bit. I'm gonna cut it off. It's rocking on set the time for uh, 17 hours. I'm gonna set the temperature. 225, 250. Sorry, temperature set at 250. I'm gonna go ahead and let it get that smoke going. I know the smoke is going. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change some stuff around. I'm gonna put a pan here to heat the flick. And I'm gonna drop my racks a little lower. I'm gonna add some water to the smoker. Now, should you give me another thing of water? So remember, this is gonna be smoking all night. So you really want to add a lot of water. So, uh, and then what I want to do is I'm gonna place my brisket on. Right now, I'm going to put some more water in the smoker. All right, I like cooking with a lot of humidity. And this is gonna help the flame up. And I also gonna create a, a, a sink bearer. So I get the heat. And then I'm gonna go ahead and pet that in and shape it the way I want it on the master build. And one more. All right, guys, that's how we're looking right now. And y'all see that Uncle Steve shake is doing what it's supposed to do. It's shaking it down, guys. Yep, that's what we got. So we got it baptized, we get the baptized in the smoke. And that's what we're finna do, guys. Okay, we got a water pan going in. I'm not going to touch this, do anything until our bark sets. So that may be in another five or six hours, okay? So let's go. 250 degrees. Okay. First thing we did, we did, we trimmed the brisket. We got it all trimmed up. We uh, used some Uncle Steve competition cow shake right here, guys. Let me tell you something. His link will be in the description below and also in the iCard up above, okay? And uh, we're talking about trimming, okay? I did an okay trim, but if you really want to see a trimming video, hey, check out the iCar right there. That go Mom and Papa Joe over at CJ. Go over there and tell them my son, you guys. Shout out to CJ. Hey, Amen. Check him out. Uncle Steve Shake. Go check out CJ. All of them being the iCar is a blow. Okay. And Uncle Steve, I'm going to use his website there. So, also, the mop saw what I'll be using to mop this brisket with, guys. Will be in the description below, uh, below and on the iCard up above. Go check that out, guys. Get yourself some mop sauce. I'm using it, and then the wood we're using today. Let's talk about the wood we're using today. Use a hickory, guys. I'm not a hickory guy, but that's what I had today. That's what we use. We're using some good old hickory wood, guys. This is some really dry hickory, so I should get a good flavor of smoke on this meat, guys. Okay, I, I don't think I'm up. You know, I got a thin blue smoke. I can smell it cooking. You know, uh, so I'm looking forward to this, guys. I'm using a water pan. So, uh, yeah, this brisket is doing real good. We cook it at 250 degrees. We're not touching it. We're not doing nothing. We're letting the smoker do what it do, okay? So when we come back to mop, I'll bring you back in. Peace. All right, guys. It's been six hours, guys. And I just pulled my brisket. It's reaching internal temperature about 170 so i'm going to go ahead and do some butcher's paper 
So I'm gonna go ahead and hit it with this mop sauce on the butcher's paper to get it all kind of uh, pliable before I can uh, put this uh, butcher's paper, uh, mop sauce all on the butcher's paper, yeah. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Make this butcher's paper real pliable, baby. With some mop sauce. All right, so I'm gonna break, I'm gonna take it off the smoker. Oh yeah. So, uh, my son, I got a little pool in, you see it down? So before I do man, I like to add a little, uh, moisture, to, uh, more moisture to it. I'm gonna go ahead and add a stick of un uh, butter. I don't like it. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this right here. Make it tight. Yeah, right, such. So I'm put this back on the smoker. Hopefully, this is gonna cook. Right here until it reaches the internal temperature of what I need it. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it down for the night. And uh, the brisket, like I said, is wrapped. I'm gonna go ahead and put it down. I'm gonna let it just go 250 like I've been doing. Uh, I want this tender. I'm just gonna let it go low and slow, baby. So yeah, USDA Prime brisket cooked on the master belt, baby. Only thing I don't like about this cook it was the pooling of the bark. Right there in that, 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 that middle. And, and, I, and uh, you know, I could have did some stuff to prevent that, but like I said, I didn't look at it to the very end because this is such an awesome smoker. You don't have to do nothing but set it and forget it. So uh, it's been doing pretty good holding temperature. I'm getting a good smoke flavor. The bark looks amazing. If it weren't for the pooling, you know what I'm saying? But um, we're gonna hopefully fix that tomorrow. But yeah, guys. Next time you see me, we'll be slicing this up. Alright guys, this is the master built. Yes, the master built gravity smoker, man. Look at the bark that they put on that brisket. Man, goodness. I'm pretty happy with it. So uh we go go out for a cut and I'm gonna get this vacuum sealed and uh I'm gonna take this to work. But first I wanna slice it up for you guys, okay? Alright, peace. I tell you what, man. I'm pretty excited. Thank you. Um, man, Uncle Steve's shake. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut this up and then I'm gonna vacuum seal it. So first I wanna just cut. Wow, look at that, look at that. I can tell by the juices that gonna be a good brisket right here. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna cut it number two pencils. Number two, baby. Number two. I'm trying not to rip the bark. I don't want the bark to get ripped at all. That was a pretty thick slice of shit. I don't see too much of smoke right now. I can smell the smoke though. Okay. So I'm gonna pull one out just to see something. Look at that, look at that juice. You can see that juice on that there. Look at that juice. Got a bit of smoke ring on that, but look at the juice. Yeah, that is a juicy piece of brisket, I must say. Okay. Alright, do it, do it juicy. Look at the bark on that thing right there. Bark is amazing. The bark is amazing on it. 
juice is just out of control on this right here. All right. Turn this around. I'm gonna slice. All right, guys. All right, guys. So I got the vacuum seal. This take this to work, but I want to first. I want to just pull out a piece. I need to uh, pull out. I'll pull out a little piece. I don't want to pull out a big piece. So it holds up on its own weight. It don't have a nice fold, but man, is it tender? Yeah, it's tender. It's, t it's, it's tender. It's not super tender, but it's tender. I don't want a super tender. I want a little, um, it's perfect the way I like it, okay? Salty, a lot of bark, mm. hey, like I say guys, this is a good brisket from the master belt, smoky, very smoky, good hickory flavor, like I always say guys, God bless you, God bless America. It's been a long night. I'm ready to get to work. Love you. Peace.